Hey coaches, this is Dave Gleason. I'm head coach here at Athletic Revolution in uh, Pembroke, Massachusetts. Uh, we train a lot of soccer players here. Um, I'm a U10 and a U6 coach myself at this point, I'm kind of following my kids as they get older. What I want to talk to you about today specifically is the U10 age group. Um, because far too often I see what I consider a cop-out, and that is an hour of scrimmaging um, in replace of an actual practice for that age group. Uh, really, what should the approach be at the U10 level? In my professional opinion, it still has to be interlaced with one word, fun. So if you're not playing other games that involves the soccer ball at their feet, where they're having a ton of fun, there's something wrong there and you need to change your coaching style. I'm just being completely honest with you. Keep the ball at their feet as much as possible. Um, let's put it to you this way. Think about the average game. All right? We even go at the pro level. In a 90 minute game, how often does each player actually have the ball, the ball at their feet? It's not very much and it's probably a lot less than you think. Um, in your scrimmages, if you do scrimmage a ton, Pick one kid and see how many times that kid actually touches the ball within a half an hour. It might be twice, three times, four times, ten if they're lucky. For, an, for an, how much time? Fifteen? Ten seconds? Now what if at least the first half hour of your practice was laced with childhood games that they already know, like red light, green light, except they have the ball at their feet the entire time. They have to be reactive, they have to think about rhythm, of course, there's a ton of ball control, and you're gonna work on their fitness level at the same time, which also takes away the need for any laps, okay, or any specific running drills. Let the game get them in shape by allowing them to play the game within the context of a lot of other fun games. I'll throw another one out there that most kids absolutely love, is plain old tag, okay? It helps them work on spatial awareness being aware of their surroundings. Strategy, put them in teams, do team tag, okay? I'm just thinking out of the box now. You don't have to have a soccer ball at their feet to actually help them become better athletes and better soccer players. Games like tag can teach a lot to a child if you play that even as a warm up, okay? So think about all your favorite childhood games. Put a soccer ball at the foot of the of the child that's in your in your on your team and let them go let them go let them have fun really what is our job as a U10 coach is to have as much fun as humanly possible in order to allow those kids to think to themselves wow I had so much fun I want to play again next year okay um, scrimmaging is great especially if it's a controlled scrimmage so you can work on a little bit of tactical uh, strategy, uh, so forth and so on, but really l let the game teach the kids by keeping a ball at their feet as much as possible, not thinking that the game will teach them by having them scrimmage the entire time. Again, it's going to increase their, their entire uh, fitness level, it's going to increase their skill level. Okay, so thanks for you know listening to another installment of my youth fitness series. This one specifically on youth soccer fitness. Um, go out there with your U10 players and have a blast, okay? I'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks so much.